This is a small feature of a bigger system I have been building for a while. Uh, basically what we have here is a um, request to a web API in .NET Core that I, I created and what we are going to do is send a small portion of text actually a big portion of text that we are going to analyze so I already have my endpoint set and when I click send this will go and execute the request to the web API I created consuming a lot of um, cognitive services when it returns it will give us this uh, weird result that's basically because what we are returning from the endpoint is an octet stream from an XML uh, an Excel file so what I am going to do is download I'll name it results.xlsx which is the format for Excel files in OpenXML and then what I am going to do is I will go and open this results file this result file we have a couple of tabs where you will see for example the personality some guessings or some matches according to the text it was sent so basically it is trying to figure out the personality corresponding to the person who input the text based on the text okay so we will see that here we have for example personality we have a subcategory which is openness and this will have another category which will be for example venturousness artistic interest emotionality imagination intellect and authority challenging this will give us a, a percentile will give us a small number indicating or estimating how accurate it may be so basically there is like a 52 percent of adventureness 99 percent of artistic interest okay if we go to extroversion says that the activity level is like an 88 percent assertiveness 0 0.9 okay and we will see that here we will have other tabs corresponding to these categories and for example here we will see generated charts based on the data we have on the first tab for visual purposes so here we have the ones for consciousness here we have the ones for extraversion here we have the ones for agreeableness here we have the ones for emotional range here we have some behavior information that is still in the works here we have information for um, the needs that is also still in the works I haven't completed yet some consumption consumption preferences so we see that based on the text it says that there is like a 100% chance that the person is likely to prefer a style when buying, when buying clothes is also likely to prefer comfort when buying clothes which in my case is actually true okay uh, 100% chance of likely to be influenced by online ads when making product purchases that's actually not so accurate in my case because I tend to be careful of not be influenced by marketing as much as I can as much as I can avoid that influence 100% uh, 
100% chance likely to be concerned about the environment. Okay, likely con consider starting a business in next few years. Well, I've been working, starting businesses, or yeah, and to do entrepreneurship and doing business as a freelance for a while. So, yeah, likely to like romance movies. Well, yeah, that's true. Uh, likely to like adventure movies. It says zero percent, zero. Uh, that's not so accurate. I actually like adventure movies. Likely to like horror movies. In my case, I do not dislike horror movies, but they do not really drive my attention. Musical movies. This is actually wrong in my case because I do not like musicals. Drama movies. Yeah, sometimes I enjoy them. Okay, fifty percent chance likely to like rap music. Uh, I actually don't like rap. Uh, yeah, Latin music. Yeah, rock. I don't like rock. Um, reading preferences. Likely to read often. Yeah, sometimes I get lazy and I don't want to read. Entertainment magazines. Actually, that's wrong in my case. Read non-fiction books. That's true. Likely to read financial investment books. Um, I'm trying, though I get bored really easily. Likely to read autobiographical books. Yeah, I don't read them. And because of the same reason, I get bored. Likely to volunteer for social, social causes. That's true. Here we have some other tabs indicating more, uh, more stuff. For example, the detected languages of the text that was sent to the API. So the services we are consuming behind the, end, the API need to be split in several portions of text. So if you see the text I sent was split in ten set in ten portions. So this first text, all of this text, text is part of a book I am I have been writing. So this is the first part that it was uh, processed and it says that it's in English and it has a 100% accuracy on that. The second portion of text it says it's in English and it has a 99.8% accuracy on that and you see the others are kind of similar. Besides that we are identifying the key phrases in the text that was sent. So here we will see that in all of these texts, I have this text duplicated here just to identify that this set, this key phrase corresponds or was identified in this portion of text, right? Um, so we'll see that all of these are key phrases that were found on the text which was sent to the servers. We are also getting the sentiment from those portions of text. The sentiment basically will tell you how positive or negative the text seems to be. So in this piece of text or portion of text, we will see that it has a 97.6% of uh, sentiment. So it's pretty, it's uh, positive. 
here we'll see that we have something that not so positive it has a 78.4% sentiment it is for this portion of text this one uh, we see it has a it's really low so it's a 0 0.04 it's uh, 4% so basically with this we could go get the text open a notepad or something where we are writing and we can start edit it with that portion of text it will be great to edit the main um, the main source and try again with the full text but here we can check like okay this text is the one we had like 0 0.4 percent why it was like that right so we probably can go and figure out some things uh, it says the obtainum ID is 7 so here we can go and filter for the item ID 7 and we can see here the key phrases that are found that were found for that specific portion of text so we can probably probably figure out here which ones are positive which ones were negative and try to change a little bit those okay and here we have a um this account or the number amount of times that a single key phrase was found in the whole analysis so chapter for example as a key was identified as a key phrase as a result of the analysis so we see that chapter was found six times as a result of the key phrase of key phrase as a key phrase times was identified five times as key phrase empathy four book four matic love three and so on so that's what i wanted to show um this is a part of a bigger system which is um is a system we are building which has the purpose of helping parents identify um signs of depression or suicidal tendencies on their children based on their social media posts information uh, but we decided since it could have other uses uh, open up a little bit what we are doing and expose some functionality as web api so this is still in the works and as soon as i finish i will publish it for developers consumption along with some small applications or websites to have the ui consuming that and generate the excel files with all of this information um, if you know any more functionality that you'd like to have there please write it in the comments thank you very much have a good day